Welcome back this morning. We do like asking the big questions here on Today Perth News and this morning we are tackling one of the big ones, one that's divided our city for decades now. Which is better, north or south of the river? Lisa Fernandez hit the streets to find out. Questions? Don't run away, it's alright. Hello, how are you? Is that for real? Is that did that really happen? Oh look, he loves it. Look, <laughs> north of the river or south of the river? Uh, north of the river by far. North of the river. Why? I don't know because it's the way it is. Hi, how are you going? Look, can I ask uh, north or south of the river? What do you reckon's better? South. I don't really like the north. Yeah, it's okay. Too far, too cold. North of the river or south of the river? What do you reckon rules? North. Why? Because we're down to earth. Who wants to, what, where? Right. What do you like better, north or south? Hi ladies, how are you? North of the river or south of the river? Uh, definitely south. <laughs> I can promise you it's south. Why? Why is that? Well, I don't need a passport to go north of the river if I'm from the south. You like Darth Vader? No, I had. We're, we're tough, tough people. <laughs> south is like, it's like Springfield versus Shelbyville. Springfield's north of the river, Shelbyville's south of the river. Oh dear. South. Why? Free men. I love the little That's so cute. I reckon the middle. I live in Burswood. It's absolutely perfect. It's a compromise between two of them. Grand Farmer Freeway and in minutes I'm to the safe or I can go to Mount Henry Tavern. It's a no-brainer. So I'm neutral. I love you all, north and south. See you later. Any chance of that getting on? Absolutely. I will. Any chance for getting on. I think Lisa's found a friend there. <laughs> All right, so the battle lines are drawn. We are ready to rumble. In the northern corner this morning, we've got the Mayor of Vincent, John Kerry. Good morning to you, John. Morning. And from the south, Stephen Kane from the city of Coburn. And, of course, adjudicator, Oh, Lisa. adjudicator. Yeah? That's exactly right. Conflicted. You live yeah. pretty close to... To, yes, to John's I do, Mary, I Vincent, do. You, uh, my residence, Stephen's got a docker scarf well, on. Well, my residence is north, but my heart is definitely there you south. Go. Oh, good to see. Oh, it's wonderful. Perfect. All right, so you've, you've both got your boxing gloves on. What we're going to ask you is north of the river or south of the river. So, John, we'll kick it off with you. Uh, 15 seconds, why are the beaches better north of the river? Look, the coastline rocks. It is spectacular. It is more of the top ten beaches from WA are in the north. I'm told by the surfers that the waves are better, so I'm pretty <laughs> sure, sure they've got Fremantle Stop. Beach, but the, you know, the action for beaches is north. All right, Stephen, you have right of reply. Oh. Beaches, why are they better south? What do I say? Safer beaches, you know, beautiful Coogee Beach, lovely shark net down there. It's so good that the Cottesloe Council want a uh, copy <laughs> up. Uh, here here nice. we go up to the iconic Bathers Beach in Fremantle. You know, we've got beautiful beaches, uh, safe beaches, Beaches, bold beaches, better beaches. All right, we're going to move on to entertainment. John Kerry, why is uh, North better for entertainment, more things to do? I'm going to say a big statement, but it is the, the, the cultural heart, the beating heart of Perth wow. is to the North. There's no doubt about it. When can you think you, about, can you back that up? well, the yeah. arts venues, the music venues. Yeah. When we look at where the music and arts scene is, it's not happening south the river. It is to that inner north. Because that is where it is happening. Because That's where people flock to. People from the south go to the north. I people in Fremantle hate you right now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if, if the north apparently is the beating heart of the city, um, where does that leave you, Stephen? What part of the body are you? But it's the, uh, not the only part. The we're, we're, the, we're the soul and the brain. If I looked at from Mantra through to its Mantra Crab Festival, come mm. up to Rockingham to the uh, Sardine Festival and Fremantle. You know, I was listening to Eskimo Joe playing in uh, nice. Manning Park uh, later on this year. Of course... Name dropping a band yeah. there. Yeah. Who, like it. Done, who, could, who done. could not go past Birdwood's Birdwood? Casino and the beauty there. In fact, it's so good in our side of the river, the Premier's moving the stadium there, yeah. John. The stadium <laughs> coming south. OK, so to wrap the debate, as, as we all did in high school debating, John, finish it off. Why should you live north of the river? Just say for people who've maybe just moved to Perth, why north? It is where the action, it is where <laughs> the city is. We have the best cafe and retail strips. It is where things are happening. And quite frankly, if I'm looking between hippies of Fremantle or the hipsters of inner city north, <laughs> at least the hipsters shower and clean. <laughs> it's a reason <laughs> to be in the north. Low, blow. John. Stephen, Look, you have a right of reply. Let's go with where the people are. You know, there are more, peop lynched. more people living south of the river and that centre of Perth is moving uh. south every year. 
There are more jobs to South the River. There's more affordable land and housing South the River. <laughs> We've got great outdoor areas, a beautiful coastline. If you're going from Fremantle, from Dave, from Rottnest, you don't go from Hillary's, you go from Fremantle. And for the record, how's the and personal course. hygiene down there? <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've got the best football team. Well, we haven't got to that bit yet <laughs> because obviously at the moment, you know, the Eagles fans are going to come back and say our trophy cabinet's looking a little bit more impressive it than the Dolphins at the moment. And it, the one thing you remember, Tim, where are the Eagles moving? Vic Park, south of the river. Oh, John. <laughs> I don't think I need to protect uh, John from Stephen. I think I need to protect John from Mate, whatever's outside the Channel I 9 I would not studio. be going down to Fremantle <laughs> any time soon, my friend. Look, the tumbleweeds are even moving out of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Do we have a winner? <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I'm too scared to declare him the winner. Uh. <laughs> I might have to say we have the winner is... That is untrue. It's not true. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, I don't know if you've won any friends today. If we're judging it on that, John. Thank you very much. So, John and Stephen, thank you for representing your respective sides. Lisa, as well, thank you. No worries. Let we'll have more of a question, too, John. over the coming weeks. Well, it is a debate that has no losers, except for John in Fremantle. <laughs> but uh, we would like to hear what you think as well. You can head to our Facebook page and have your say. It's certainly going off already. Nine News Perth uh, on Facebook. Check it out.